for for someone who is mentally ill. 4029's Daniel Armbruster sits down with a mental health specialist to talk about what you need to look for. This is in our Sunday sit down. This past week, two journalists were killed by one of their former colleagues. And tonight, many are wondering if mental health intervention could have prevented that shooting. We don't know the answer to that, but it's certainly a possibility. Joining us now, mental health expert Jason LeCompte, based out of Fayetteville. Thank you for being with us. Um, and, you know, there are some signs that you can look for in someone before they go into a, a violent rage or, or something of that nature. What are some of those early warning signs, Jason? Absolutely. So uh, things like changes in uh, eating or sleeping, um, maybe differences in like job performance. They were performing well and now things are starting to slip. Um, you can even look for things that are a little more severe like um, unreasonable anger, violent outbursts, uh, substance use, even things like social withdrawal can be a pretty serious sign of uh, stress or depression. What causes, you know, I guess it, it depends on the person and the circumstances, but what causes someone to, to go into some sort of shooting rampage or, or into that break? It, it really is as varied as there are people, the differences in circumstances or, or reasons. Um, I mean, a lot of times going into something as severe as that typically is because there's some sort of mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, it's gotten to a point where that is the right choice for them is to go into a shooting rampage. And, uh, you know, obviously it's not the right choice. So. So hopefully you can intervene before that happens. And is that something, you know, in a, in a lot of these instances, uh, mental health was talked about afterwards, but mm -hmm. not really before. Is that something, you know, I, the mental health community would like to see change? Or Absolutely. Um, I think there's a stigma around mental health uh, on a larger scale that we're afraid to talk about suicide or afraid to talk about sad feelings or depression. And um, that is, <laughs> it's really terrible. It's something that I know the mental health community at large would love to see change. Our mental health is just as important as our physical health. So if, if someone is showing some of these warning signs, mm -hmm. uh, the outbursts, you know, the withdrawal, mm -hmm. what do you do? I mean, first off, I would check in with them just on a more regular basis, especially in those early stages. If you see cha changes in like sleep or changes in eating, um, I would just check in with them more often, see how they're feeling, see if they need help, if they're stressed out at work or school or whatever it might be. Um, after that, I mean, you can do a search online for mental health professionals or talk to a spiritual leader that you know um, and seek some guidance and see if there's a next level that you can take take it to before it, it really escalates and gets worse. Jason LeCompte, thank you very much for being with us. Hopefully these tips can help somebody in our community. All right, Daniel, thank you.